Hello all, I'm Dr. Ali Vivian, a member of the Youth Arm of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking to you about diabetes in commemoration of the World Diabetes Day, which holds on the 14th November every year, with this year's theme being Education to Protect Tomorrow. Now, I'm just going to be telling you basic things about diabetes, the risk factors, the symptoms, the complications and the treatment. Diabetes is a chronic um, metabolic disorder characterized by hyperglycemia, that means high blood sugar. And this hyperglycemia occurs as a result of um, faulty secretion of insulin from the pancreas or as a result of insulin resistance. Now this chronic hyperglycemia can result in failure of various organs including the kidneys, it can affect the heart, it can affect the eyes and it can affect the nerves. Now what are the symptoms of diabetes? Um, one thing you should remember are the three P's, polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia. Simple, it just means um, increased uh, polyuria, increased urination, polydipsia, increased thirst, polyphagia, increased hunger. That means you find yourself eating a lot. Other symptoms can be blurry vision, weight loss, recurrent infections like recurrent vaginal infections for women, foot infections, um, amongst others. Next, we are going to be talking about the risk factors for diabetes. So the risk factors are numerous, but some of the commonest ones are obesity, especially um, central obesity, in the meaning fat around the tummy. And then there's a family history. If you have a first degree relative with diabetes, that increases the chances of coming down with diabetes. By first degree relative, I mean mother, father, brother, sisters. Uh, another thing is a sedentary lifestyle. You uh, lack of exercise, basically. And then diet, eating foods that are high in carbs, eating lots of junk foods, things like that can also increase the chances of getting diabetes. Now, basically, there are different types types of diabetes but for simplicity's sake I'm just going to be talking about type 1 diabetes which is a mostly genetic link or cause more in younger people but can happen in older people too type 2 which is commoner um, and of course in older people and has all of those risk factors that we talked about and then the gestational diabetes which occurs in a previously normal glycemic woman that means a woman who previously did not have diabetes but came down with diabetes as a result of pregnancy so next we're going to talk about the complications of diabetes this usually occur from the long-term effects of um, hyperglycemia and some of the complications include a retinopathy this means it affects the eyes basically and it can cause a visual loss this is why it's very important for diabetics to get their eyes checked on a yearly basis because if caught early it can prevent visual loss and then there is a nephropathy that means it affects the kidneys and it can cause a kidney failure in which case the patient or the person might experience swelling of the legs swelling of the face problems with urination things like that it can also affect the nerves and then cause a tingling sensation in the legs in the hands or some people describe it as a burning sensation abnormal sensations basically in different parts of the body and it can cause uh, problems like sexual dysfunction erectile dysfunction in men and sometimes it can lead to a coma uh, diabetics can come up with a complication called ketoacidosis which can lead to a coma and if not corrected on time if not managed appropriately can even lead to death all of these complications are totally avoidable if people adhere to the advice given to them by their doctors lifestyle modification they take their drugs when due they watch their diet they work on their weight all of these complications are totally avoidable Finally, I'm going to finish up this video by saying health is wealth. Think these things are totally preventable like we've talked about. So take your health seriously. Watch your diet. Exercise regularly. See your doctor once you notice any symptoms you're not comfortable with. So your pro tip for today is watch out for your health. Eat healthy. Exercise. 
and if you are on medications stick to the regimen your doctor has given to you if you have any side effects any problems with the medication let your doctor know don't just stop them abruptly and then come down with complications remember this video is brought to you as a commemoration of the world diabetes day stay healthy stay strong have a good day